there are several ways uh, which you can use to publish something on Facebook with third parties. Uh, one of them and the most uh, famous one, I think is the most famous one, is Social B. You can uh, publish it on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest or Google My Business. And uh, you can also uh, schedule and repeat the, the, the posts. So when you've posted once, then you can post it twice, try, three times, four times, how many times that you want on a particular day. And uh, there are a lot of more uh, uh, things that you can do with Social B. I'm not going to cover this in this tutorial. Another one is, uh, for example, uh, Story Chief. Now, this is not so famous as Social B. But Story Chief does have a plugin that you can use on the WordPress website. Um, the one that I'm going to use is Anconia Animator, and this is, uh, in my opinion, uh, the best one. There are a lot of options that you can uh, use with Anconia Animator. I've also made tutorials uh, about CurioBots and Anconia Animator and Google Sheets and things like that, but. And the first thing that you have to do is go to the settings. So when you've installed the pro version, and then you uh, can see here that they have an integration with Facebook, Instagram, Google, Twitter. Sorry. And uh, once you've done that, then you're going to uh, recipes and you're going to create another recipe. I've already done that. I've made a form on my website, but you can also use it for posts or other things. And then you can allow people to uh, upload their photo on the website and then publish it uh, to Facebook or one or the other uh, uh, social platforms that I've showed you. Uh, so um, I've made it live and I've uh, chosen for the form. It's a simple form. And then I've chosen for uh, Facebook, once you've connected um, Uncanny Animator with Facebook, then you can choose which Facebook page you want to use. It has to be a business face, uh, Facebook page. So uh, that is uh, one of the criteria that you have to keep in mind. And then you can um, uh, give it a message. And of course, you can point one of uh, the hooks or uh, the macros and you can put it in here so i've chosen for the name and uh, when you're going to uh, an incognito so and we go to the website let's hope that it opens it's incognito i accept it oh my god um i accept what did i do wrong and then when I go to the website, as you can see, it's just a test website. And we go into the form, then you see here the name. So I've pointed with the name. And let's call it uh, Pete or Peter, whatever. And then uh, it's a fake email. And then the text. Now, when you've done that, then you wait till the form is submitted. And when you go into all the, to the dashboards, don't forget to make everything live, eh? otherwise it won't work. And we're gonna refresh the page. Then you can see that it's posted on this particular Facebook page. Takes a little while. As you can see here, Peter. So uh, that's very nice. I think it's very nice. So you can customize it uh, uh, in whatever you, you like. And um, you can change also the macros. And you can uh, choose for a post, as I already uh, told you, or something else. And uh, the beauty of uh, Onconi Animator is that you can uh, make the recipes uh, endless long, as long as you want. You can uh, add another action and 
another action and another action and you can uh, connect it uh, with twitter google sheets is integral mat instagram i mean instagram so yeah it's a very nice tool and uh, this actually basically what i want to say in this tutorial now i think that they've changed the plan because the free version of uncanny animator can do a lot more now than uh, in the past so uh, when you create a new uh, recipe then you can also choose for an animious recipe in the free, free version now that wasn't the case the only thing that uh, they have done you can do not so much with the free version of course uh, than with the uh, pro version and when you choose for um, everyone they've they've changed it also that the, now they call it everyone uh, then you don't have to let them re registrate on uh, wordpress previous it uh, was necessary to let them registrate on wordpress when it was an anonymous but uh, they've changed it so uh, yeah it's uh, very nice and i hope you in, uh, enjoy it and i see you in the next tutorial